guys, Derek Stockleben here from Spectrum, joined by Mr. David Payne, and today we're here to talk to you about something really exciting that we've we've uh, announced and kind of had out there for a while, but we're really we're finally ready to ship it. It's the Spectrum AS3000 uh, AS3X gyro. So this is a this is a uh, small gyro system that plugs into the PowerSafe line of receivers that we have uh, to add AS3X and gyro stabilization to, uh, which is really geared towards kind of a giant scale. Uh, jet guys, you know, giant scale Absolutely. airplanes. So it's a single wire solution that plugs right into the PowerSafe uh, receiver. And David, you've been testing these for the Spectrum team for quite a while on, on a few different airplanes. Yeah. And um, we, we did a lot to really get it right to bring it to market now. So what has your experience been in the past, you know, couple months testing this? Yeah, it's, it's, it's been really good, actually. I've been, I really enjoyed kind of going through this process. You know, we, we released it and I, I just, I think we all felt like it just wasn't there yet. So mm -hmm. we kind of pulled away and really did a lot more testing and tested with a lot of different aircraft. And, and during that time, we actually have added a lot more features too that are gonna be really cool and really unique for people to play with. But uh, like you said, it's, it's a one wire solution. So mm -hmm. a lot of gyros, you know, you have to plug their inline solutions, right? So you pull all your servos out, you plug them into the gyro and then plug them into the receiver. This is a one, it's one sensor, one plug, plug it into any of the new three power safe receivers, the mm -hmm. nine, 12 or 20. And it's it's one plug and three screws and you're done. Right, and, and that's, all, so you mentioned the screws and that's something that's uh, really important about this is it has three, three mounting tabs. Three mounting with, tabs. With that, grommeted mounting tabs, yeah, absolutely. Yep. So, you know, that's one thing that I've always been really nervous about. I've, I've experienced it, which is double stick tape and maybe your gyro falls out, which is not a good experience. Mm -hmm. So, you know, with this being screwed in, it's it's kind of a lot more kind of quick and easy, but you know, it's not gonna go anywhere. It's very, you know, you're done. So yep, that and makes the grommets it, do well to, to kind of eliminate some of that vibration. Correct, just in case get. you're flying yeah. in like a big giant scale airplane or something like that, maybe with some vibration, that's gonna not be a factor either. Mm -hmm. but. So install, with that size, it really allows you to kind of place it anywhere you want and it's very easy to yeah to you get can where you need to you can place it anywhere you want it's got a decently long cord coming off the side of it so you've got some room just in case your receiver's in a different location than where you need your gyro at you know because mm -hmm. you really want that gyro kind of centered in the airplane i guess you would say the best you can but uh you know it's it's super quick to install and then the other kind of really really cool thing and, and you haven't said this yet but it's all controlled all programmed through your transmitter right so and that's something that we we're going to get into yeah. is the forward programming feature for this so you can program everything uh, with this gyro with a uh, a Gen 2 transmitter on the newest firmware. Correct. So straight from the transmitter. No Correct. no computer involved, no nothing. No tablet, no phone, no computer. Yep. It's all done through your transmitter. It's it's very friendly programming. You know, if you want to, you can go in, you can mount this, mm -hmm. you can plug it in, you can set your orientation for your gyro, you can pick your gain channel, and then you can go fly. If you want it that simple, you can make it that simple. Or there's tons of features that you can do and, and play with on this thing. If you want to separate each channel as far as gains, or you can you know change your heading or, or any of the things that we've done with AS3X and, and, and many things you're, you've become familiar with with gyros, mm -hmm. all of that is in here, plus a few new features, but all of it's very simple in the transmitter. But you know if you're a beginner, it's, mm -hmm. it's plug it in, orient it, and chip, pick a gain channel and go fly. It's very but cool. But if you want, you know, that more finite details and, and you got it all there too. That's very, very cool. So, I mean, all those features that you get with this and the size and, and everything that we've just talked about, I mean, the, the price is another big selling factor for this. Yeah. So we're releasing this uh, at sixty four ninety nine. So that that price with the telemetry receivers, the, um, power safe. the power safe receivers, I mean, the nine, the 12 and the 20 channel. Absolutely. It's, it's very competitively priced in the market to get all the features that we just talked about. Correct. Our older power safe receivers, you know, you need Needed a module to do the telemetry, mm -hmm. so that base module is inside the new power safe receiver. So you're already getting that feature and that benefit. Mm -hmm. And then now with this, you know, $64.99, it's crazy inexpensive if you ask me for what you're getting out of it and what it what it does to the airplane. That to me is the the biggest feature of all this. Is if you've never flown a gyroed airplane, you know, a lot of people have kind of a negative kind of a feel for gyros, but they don't fly the airplane for you. They just make your experience better. They make a bad airplane fly good. They make a good airplane fly much much better. Mm -hmm. So I got to say, I mean. I mean, this this airplane is very very nice and it, did you have a gyro in this before no you know honestly this is uh, i mean i affectionately call this a beater with a heater <laughs> it's it's just a, a really good airplane we used to sell this under e-flight mm -hmm. and i have one that's a sailplane version but a buddy of mine actually built one with a turbine on it and i flew it and i'm like i gotta do one of those and so we a, a friend of mine built this one up for me and so when we started doing the gyro testing i thought you know this is a great one to do that test in because 
A, it's kind of unusual being a sailplane, so you mm -hmm. don't usually think about putting a gyro in a sailplane. But B, you know, it's 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 set up completely stock as we would have set it up when we were selling it. So it's middle of the line servos. There's nothing special in here. There's mm -hmm. no high end servos. You know, nothing like that. It's just middle of the line, just like we set it up box stock when it was a sailplane. And uh, so we did that. And the only thing I've done to it is put this in here. So and you'll see with the video of the flying, mm -hmm. it's just a blast to fly now. It really is. It, it makes this airplane so much fun. It, it's become my go-to just every day go have fun and relax airplane. Yep, and that's something that's that we really want to stress about this is for anybody, you know, currently running a power safe receiver, it's it's a really simple thing to add and it's simple to program and it just makes it makes everything just fly and just feel so much better in the air. Absolutely, absolutely. That's the the experience is, is when you, you know, even on like a windy day, you know, it just smooths all that stuff out, but mm -hmm. Even if it's a dead calm day, the precision you're going to add and feel in your airplane now compared to what it did feel like at one time is, is just levels above where it was. And right now we've got a pretty good gusty crosswind. So you can see how smooth it you know, is just flying around. You can see the airplane bobbling, but if the airplane's not moving, and that's the gyro taking care of all that excess work. Makes the pilot's load a whole lot easier. The AS3000 is going to be available very, very soon, probably by the time this video comes out. Um, we got a lot of people that have been testing this uh, very extensively over the past, you know, almost a year now. Yeah, yeah it's uh, and been it's a finally, while. it's finally ready. We're very confident about it. We're very happy to release it to market, and we know a lot of you guys are really going to enjoy this going into flying season this summer. Thanks, thanks, guys. Bye.